Hey everyone, my name is Pacha and welcome back to another episode of Raven Creek Park. And what is going on actually in the world of Planet Zoo? Not even two months after the Twilight Pack, we are getting a new DLC, the Grasslands Animal DLC, coming to us on the 13th of December. So when I yeah when I release this video one week after release of this video, the pack will be live. But before we talk about that pack and also about update 1.12 and my opinion on it so far, because as as you I haven't seen it yet, I only saw what they basically released. I will tell you guys what we are gonna doing today in this video in this real uh, in the speed build, what we are gonna build today. As I said in the last episode, if you have watched that, if not, uh, please consider yeah doing that because it was really a fun speculation video about the next DLC. In the last yeah episode, we started filling out the blank spaces of the forest area of Raven Creek. All the essential animals are in now. All the yeah real animals are in now, and now we are filling out the blank spaces in this area before we move on to the next part. And last time we have finished the plaza in front of the grizzly bear habitat as well as added a toilet building and we yeah, completed the lynx area, the lynx backstage area where we also will have the winter quarters for our skunks and our raccoons. This time, this time we are building an animal showcase area, an animal show area, um, a bird of prey show area, basically an area where you would have animal shows, animal talks, where people could sit down to see I know, bird shows, fly shows with birds flying over their head. You get the idea of what I'm, uh, what I'm talking about. This is something we add today. And then uh, we are also adding kind of an animal, an applied animal, not a real one. We are adding a uh, aviary for a spectacle owl down the, down the line in this video. By the way, if you want to watch to this part of the video, I have made timestamps for you so you can, you can easily switch between the part and you can see whatever piques your interest. So yeah, all timestamps are down in the description as well if you click in the video itself. But yeah, we are building an aviary, a small, very simple aviary for a spectacle owl. And then we are we we gonna build some uh, landscaping. We do gonna do some landscaping in front of the toilet and in front of this um, sh animal showcase area, this animal show area, uh, and between the fox area, we will gonna build a small creek or river. It's more a creek, a creek um, coming down from the grizzly bear habitat. Because if you, if you remember, if you haven't watched the video, then I highly suggest watching it because it was re uh, it's a really cool build. But yeah, we have a, a water area in this grizzly bear habitat and the water from there will now flow into this small creek, this man-made creek, so to say, that will then eventually drop into the big river, into the Raven Creek River. Um, so we're gonna build that. And it's also a nice divider of an older area that we will start with the fox habitat. The fox habitat will be part of an older area down the line and this newer part of, of the zoo um, where we are building in right now. As you can see, we are also finishing, finally finishing the um, the greeny par greenery part in front of the lynx habitat. I know some people um, complained about it that I didn't finish that. In the, in the links video, uh, I just didn't have the time. Now we are gonna finish that, so nobody can complain anymore. But yeah, this is uh, what we are, will do today, so you have an idea of what awaits you. But let's talk about update and DLC 1.12. Let's start with the DLC because it was what were, was first announced before they announced the DLC. Um, update, update. Update <laughs> 1.12 um, comes with for us seems not many f uh, features, not many changes to the actual game. Um, it only comes with three new things, at least as far as we know for now. And I'm sure there will be more smaller changes and uh, yeah updates uh, when we get the full release notes. But it comes with a diorama mode, gameplay mode, with an educa with education tours, 
and with a bulldozer tool. Let's go over them and then I say my opinion about this DLC. So um, we get this diorama mode, which is basically a new mode, like sandbox mode. Oh no, it's a new map type, I think, not a new mode. It's a new map type, um, so like the flat map or the sculpted map. You get this diorama mode, which basically gives you a yeah, free-floating um, pile of dirt in, uh, in the skybox, uh, where you can then build these dioramas that have been made famous by Rudy Rankamel uh, around a year ago, I think it was. Um, so it's very interesting that they now make a mode for that uh, almost yeah, a year after the peak height of this uh, of this mode after it was really popular. Um, really nice addition um, for people who like that would want to build something like that. It's getting easier now to do that. You don't, they don't have to make preparations and do the uh, measurements and everything. They get basically a fini already finished um, piece of dirt and then can start building. Um, do I really see that as a very uh, cool new addition? I don't think so, no. Um, it's basically just a little fun mode um, that could easily have been uh, changed out for something else, for uh, something else in the update. Um, the education tours are on the better side of things, the better side of updates. Um, they are something that you see in real zoos too. So if you go to a zoo, you often have these either made of, of, of um, yeah, school kids or just um, tourists or something or basically just education tours where an educator uh, either from the zoo or from outside uh, yeah, escorts a group of people through the zoo uh, telling them about the animals and I think this is what we're getting here just with the educators that we already have in the game. So these educators getting more and more functions. Uh, last time we got the ability, they got the ability to hold small exhibit animals. Now they get the ability to run around uh, with guests groups following them, holding down up uh, some yeah some sign, some big sign with an owl on it. And by the way, this owl sparked a whole lot of uh, ideas and. Um, uh, that we could get a bird to you'll see, but this is a different story. But yeah, education tools kind of nice. Um, as I'm someone who doesn't build a lot of educator ed educators, um, this might be something for me to get me to use that more often uh, to yeah experience with educators. Um, kind of nice. It kind of gives a little bit of realistic vibe to the zoo. I would wish if we could do backstage tours with them. Um, so we I mean we can do that as long as there is no no uh, facility building uh, close by otherwise the guests will hate us or will flee right away um, but we will see how we will see how it turns out how it works once the update is here uh, it's not it's not the uh, the most changing thing in the world but I'm sure there is a lot of, of um, techniques going on in the background to make this possible so I give them that and then we have the bulldozer tool um, which is kind of like an upgraded version of the delete button so you can go over with kind of like the terrain change things and delete everything in your that you point at um, i hope it this also includes benches and bins um, because uh, deleting benches and bins has always been a nightmare because you have to delete uh, each on their own you can't muscle mass delete them so if that includes also that um, i'm really happy that it's a really nice tool Will I use it more often? I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, have to see how it turns out in the end, uh, how it works, how yeah easy it is to work with, um, and how easy it is to access that. Uh, otherwise, uh, I don't know how what else or how much it changes from the uh, delete leading tool that we have now, if, where we can select stuff and then or the, uh, delete everything that was selected. Um, Overall, it's more, as I said, more on the smaller sides of, of an update. Um, of course, it isn't that much smaller as most of the update has been this year. But you kind of can see that, yeah, um, in terms of new content-wise, we are we are getting to an end, I think. I have no idea if it's really the end, but you, um, it's not like these crazy big changes that we had in the beginning, of course, which makes sense because then we didn't have all the stuff that we have now, so you had to update it, but uh, now we are yeah, getting to a closure here 
which uh, yeah, we're getting small things here and there, not big massive changes, at least for now. And um, if we some at some point will get birds, that could mean a bigger update again. But for now, I don't give my ho I get my hopes hopes up, as I already said in the speculation video. Um, we will see, we will see. It's a nice update. It's some f fun things I think for uh, definitely the franchise players, uh, especially with the tours. But other than that, yeah, we will have, we have to see once it's here. But yeah, we, this is not everything. Of course, as you might know, if when we get a big update, we are also getting a new DLC. And this time, uh, it's really surprising, as I already said in the beginning, not even two, uh, two months after the last DLC, we are getting a new one. And it's finally <laughs> the animal pack that we, that we expected with the Twilight DLC. It's the Grasslands animal pack. So my predictions weren't right. But at least some of the animals that I wished for in my prediction video um, yeah, are in this pack. Um, of course, we knew about the nine banded armadillo um, after the live stream that the pe lovely people of Frontier did on Tuesday. I think it, uh, it was on Tuesday they did it. They did a lovely live stream, um, which was really nice. And then they, sh they showed the nine banded armadillo. So we already knew that would be in, but what it would mean, uh, we didn't knew. And now they revealed the whole roster, and it's as as a, as the name suggests, it's an animal pack. So it's eight animals. Uh, is it eight animals? Uh, I think we are over that because we could also say it's twelve animals. Um, and uh, but I will go over that. But yeah, the other animals we are getting are the main wolf, the striped hyena, the caracal. The emu, the red-necked wallaby, and the blue wildebeest, and then this comes in why I say maybe it's 12 animals because we are getting five different butterfly species. Um, you heard it right, butterfly species that we can put in the new walkthrough exhibit. So the one that we uh, got with the with the fruit bats, we can put them in, and we can even mix them in there. So it's the first ever multi-species exhibit that we get. And this is really interesting, really cool. Can already see some amazing butterfly gardens. But yeah, let's talk about animals in, uh, uh, in general, about this DLC. And I, in my opinion, um, this could be get become one one of my favorite animal uh, animal DLCs. Um, we got the Southeast Asia DLC, animal DLC. We got the North America DLC, and we got the Wetlands DLC. And all of them have been great so far. Uh, the Southeast Asia is not one of my favorites, but uh, I haven't really because that's I haven't really built with them or played with them. But all the others, as you might know, I, I heavily use also in this zoo. And this can yeah, this can be in terms of of variety and animals because um, this can be one of the most amazing animal packs that we got so far because the animals that are in here are some of the highly requested ones that so far uh, especially the main wolf and the emu as well as, as well as the wallaby have been on the wish list for quite some time um, especially yeah the main wolf is one of my favorites that i wanted since the beginning of this game um, uh, after I got the Jaguar, my next wish was just give me a main wolf because they are such a unique canine species. Actually, they aren't really, a, they aren't even a wolf. They are more closely related to foxes. Um, but yeah, it's basically a fox on stilts. If you haven't, if you don't know what a uh, main wolf up, look it up. It's really cool. It's a really unique animal from uh, South America. And um, yeah, also as well as the nine band armadillo, also really unique. Um, or the first armadillo species, hopefully not the last, because there are uh, animals like the free banded armadillo are some of my favorites. And then we're getting two animals from, you know, three animals from Africa, the striped hyena. Uh, have, we have to see how it looks in game, but uh, the, the real life pics I know of it are really cool. The caracal was also, I think, uh, highly requested for quite some time. Uh, also an, another unique cat species, small cat species, and we highly need small cat species, as you know. And then the blue wildebeest, which I say, um, yeah, could have been changed out for another ungulate. Uh, I know people wanted the blue wildebeest since the beginning. We ha only had the black one so far. Um, it's the one from... Uh, 
from Lion King that you most like, you know, if you think of Wilder Beast, you think of the blue Wilder Beast. Uh, it's nice. We have to see how it looks in game. I think we only saw a small screenshot of them in the background. Um, but yeah, it's it's a wild beast. It's it's, it's an ungulate. Um, nothing too special here, but nice to have it. And then we're finally getting <laughs> also two new animals from Australia. Frontier is really stepping up their uh, the Australia roster. Um, also with the Twilight Pack where we got the Wombat. Now we're getting the yeah Emu and Redneck Wallaby. And it's nice. We're finally getting an Emu, uh, which has been requested since the Australia Pack. Um, one of the yeah lovely birds and winner of a of a giant war <laughs> in Australia. If you don't know the, the history, look it up. And the Redneck Wallaby is smaller kangaroo. Finally another kangaroo species, which is always nice. So as I said, this pack. Um, I have to see how how and how. I um, yeah, how I build the, how I build for them, where I build for them, I don't know. I think only the armadillo will go into uh, Raven Creek. Um, the other ones, I try to cramp as much of them into uh, Isle of the Wild, and then I think Isle of the Wild will be finished. But if not, I will make some special one-off builds for the animals that I can't fit into Isle of the Wild. Uh, we will have definitely have a showcase. Oh yeah, the, the butterflies. I didn't even talk about butterflies, and the time is all made up. Butterflies amazing. Uh, can't wait to see them. Can't wait to mix and match, and can't wait to make a butterfly garden for them. Um, <laughs> really have to see how they look. We haven't even seen them yet. Uh, only saw I think the building, the background. Um, of course, it's again the giant uh, bed building, uh, flying walkthrough building. But we will have to see how how it works out. But yeah, I will leave you now to the rest of the video. It's only a few minutes, and then I see you in the real time part at the end. So <laughs> hope you liked. Hope you liked my little discussion of DLC and update, and and I see you in the real time part. <laughs>
is our little show area where we have bird shows, we have animal talks and such things. Um, I trapped an uh, unfortunate educator here, but yeah, then you, the guests can sit down here, um, can sit down and then they would give a speech, let animal climb or sit on these logs and er such like things. One people would stand here, another would stand here, a bird would fly over your heads, such things. Um, that you see often these small animal shows and of course you can see the lynx habitat in the background and if you look to the left we have our small owl av aviary and um, I also have to make a sign for them but I already they are again um, I'm updating all the signs now I'm slowly getting uh, towards the signs that, that I'm still missing I have a whole checklist of signs that I still have to do and slowly making them now but yeah um, spectacle owl, um, a small aviary with a lot of yeah, greenery growing over it, so they ha they, it has a little bit of shade here to hide away. A uh, really simple one, nothing much else to it. Would be, I think, an animal that they would show in the animal shows here, so that's why it's very close. Maybe it's one of their favorites, maybe it's the most tamed one, the most yeah, friendly one of their birds, so they keep it close to the show. And we take a little bit of a shortcut here, uh, we're going through here, of course the Quadex Center in the background, as well as our Red Deer habitat. Now we are getting towards the lynx. Yes, we finally finished um, the garden in front of the lynxes. I would love to have a, like a small lynx statue that you could place on here. Um, so that would be really nice or something like that. Maybe I, I have to f find someone who can maybe build me that. Um, but yeah, we are, are we are on the lynx area. Of course, we built this a couple episodes ago, um, before the Twilight uh, episode even, the Twilight DLC. Here are our lovely Eurasian links in there. Still love this habitat. Still love this habitat and how it turned out. But now this way is opened and I have to fix this. I see that now. But yeah, we are now having a backstage area for the links with two separate cages so we can separate them and one here. In the middle cage, a uh, highway cage where they can go and get, then go out. A little, uh, not much theming here, um, as this is rarely seen. A small handful of tools, um, a sink here to clean food. If you go through here, we have a small four room, a small uh, entryway um, where there would be there are the uh, break room and the food room, uh, as you can see here. And if we go into that room, we have, of course, the winter quarters for the skunks and the raccoons. Um, of course, not themed or any, or any tools in here, as they are not used in the summer and uh, autumn months. So uh, they would take out all the straw and bedding material and all the tools here because they are not needed. And then in the winter months, when they have to get in, they would, of course, decorate everything. But yeah. Um, Still some things to do. I still have to make this uh, little yeah, maintenance plaza here um, for the people. So some tools and some materials to um, for them here. And hello, <laughs> they are my reindeers. <laughs> and of course, we still have this area here uh, for reference. There is the skunk habitat uh, where we could have another habitat here but i don't know yet what we'll get here uh, maybe an implied one maybe one of the ones that are still on my list but yeah um wait i will end this i want to end this video with a view on the river um whoop i have to go through here through here and then we are back on the track over around the plaza build and then we can stand here looking at the river yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode and you enjoyed my little talk about uh, the next DLC. And I hope I see you in next week when we will do an, a full showcase and video and everything about the next the new DLC once I get my hands on it. And until then, I hope you stay safe, have a great time, enjoy this wonderful game. And I see you in the next episode. So bye-bye everyone, stay safe and goodbye.